Hey, Sandy, and if your weekend plans involve traveling, you'll want to know about the closure of a major road after a fiery crash. As News Channel 15's Matt McCutcheon explains, that crash is having a big impact on travelers heading south for the weekend. Well, Mark and Heather, this is a look at that fiery crash yesterday afternoon on the northeast side of Indianapolis, right near the 465-69 interchange. Now, while the scene has been cleaned up since the situation yesterday, the repairs continue, and that could have a big impact on your travel plans. Today was all about cleanup and making sure traffic could get the green light. But it may be a while before all the roads around 465 and 69 open. INDOT is working to determine what the exact damage is to two bridges, including the possibility of structural damage that could cause a collapse. State highway engineers took steel samples for strength testing, and it could take several days for results. It really just depends upon how quickly the lab can get that uh, turned around. Um, you know, hopefully through the weekend and Monday we might be able to get that, those results back, and then based upon their, their findings, uh, hopefully reopen portions of one or, or both bridges. That means thousands of drivers will have to find other routes while waiting for the road to reopen. A tanker with liquid propane driven by 73-year-old Ronald Tobias veered out of control Thursday, flipped and exploded, injuring four people. He escaped with only minor injuries, while the massive fire damaged an overpass, other vehicles, and even a roadside billboard and communications equipment. Now the investigation continues into that crash, and that is causing several road closures in that area. Now if you're traveling down 69 right here from Fort Wayne into the Indianapolis area, you'll want to know that this ramp right down here will be closed. That is the 69 southbound ramp to I-465 south as well. Also, this ramp right here, which you'll notice while you're on 69 that will route you to 465, that is also closed. So this ramp right in through here will also be closed if your plans include going to Indianapolis this weekend. Your best bet will simply be to take 69 as it continues into Benford Boulevard and take that into downtown Indianapolis. All this information is available for you right now on our website at wayne.com. Matt McCutcheon, News Channel 15. The